Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of 3D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we built ourselves a flamethrower pickup, and that allows us to switch our weapons out. Everything is set as far as our simplistic inventory system is concerned. Hopefully you'll take the ideas and you'll expand it and make yourself a, a vast array of weapons. In this episode, there's one last thing I'd like to take care of in this vein, and that is animation of our GUI. Currently, when we operate our GUI, all that happens is, is, our, is our image switches out, and I don't want that. What I want to happen is some larger indication to our player that they've made a change. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, what I really want to do in this episode is create some animation on our GUI. It's not difficult. You've already done a lot of this kind of stuff before. This is, you know, it's pretty easy. All right, so let's take a look at what happens currently. If I hit play, bam, uh, and I can't switch weapons right now. Uh, let's grab our weapon. All right, and if I switch weapons now, we have an audio indicator. We have the reload sound for either weapon uh, that takes place, and that tells our character that something's happened, our player something's happened. Uh, we have the weapon in the in the character's hand switch as well, so that tells our player something's happened. But what I'd like to do is right down here, if I hit the, the button again, watch right down here. Yes, I change, yes, I change the GUI. I change the image of the GUI, but I want to do more than that. I want to have some indication on here, some kind of movement on there that's going to show us that the that the player's actually done something. All right, that's my big plan. It's not difficult. Let's go in and find our player weapon image, which is right over here, perfect. Um, what we need is an animator. So I'm gonna go to my animation screen, bam. Uh, on here, I'm gonna say add component and I'm gonna add in an animator, great, bam, an animator. Uh, and now I require an animation controller. In my animation uh, tab over here, sorry, in my, in my animation folder, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say create, and I'm going to create a brand new animation controller, which I will call uh, weapon uh, image, uh, weapon image AC, that's probably good enough, uh, weapon image uh, animation controller, and let's go back to the actual weapon image right here, and drag this and drop it into our controller slot. Perfect. Uh, so we're ready now to set up our animation. If I go now into my animation window, uh, it's going to allow me to create a brand new animation. Let's do that. Create. Uh, and this first one I'm going to call um, weapon image uh, image uh, idle. I'll call it weapon image idle. That's probably good for now. And basically with the weapon image idle, I'm just going to say uh, add property. Uh, and I will add a uh, I will add a scale for now. And I'm not going to change anything in here. I don't want anything to actually occur. Whenever whenever this thing is playing, whenever it's moving, I want it to stay right in this state. All right. And let's add all the properties just in case. I don't know if we have to, but let's add all the properties we're going to end up affecting. I'm going to add this one. Uh, I'm going to add my uh, I'm going to add my rotation. And lastly, I'm going to add property, and I'm going to add my uh, anchor position as well. Anchored position. Bam. All right, so I'll add all of those because uh, that's what we're going to add in the next one. All right, so I'm going to say fine. That's perfectly great. And I'm going to stop this for now. So nothing actually occurred in here. We didn't actually add anything, but if I take a look at my animator, uh, I now have my weapon idle image, or sorry, my, we my weapon image idle. And that's just going to loop through and not moving at all. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, let's go back here. And now we're going to say create a brand new clip. Bang. And this one here we're going to call a uh, weapon image uh, select. <laughs> I don't know. Select. All right, weapon image select. It's going to show up in here. Great. And we currently don't have any animation in here, but we're going to say add a property. Uh, we're going to add our anchored position. Bang. Uh, we are also going to add a property. And we're going to add our scale like that and lastly we're going to add a property and we're going to add our let's add our rotation as well so those are all the things that i kind of want to affect now i'm not going to i'm not going to have a lot of animation it's just going to be something quick so i'm going to grab these things here they're all zeroed out right now rotation position and scale perfect and let's move this down so it's like a half second long all right it's only going to be a, a brief bam in our animation and basically uh what i want to do um 
I basically what I want to do is I want our I want just enough movement uh, that our player sees something has occurred. All right, so let's go into let's say about I don't know here maybe maybe here this is probably fine uh, and let's go into our scene and we'll just animate it by looking at it. All right, here's our image right now. And what I want this thing to do, let's say I want it to uh, scale out. Uh, I want it to scale properly. Uh, so I want it to get, let's say, in the X and the Y, I want it to maybe get twice as big. So two and two. That big, maybe, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. And I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Uh, so let's rotate it around this axis, like that. I don't know. All right, and that'll be our first point. All right, and then what I want it to do is as we, so it's gonna come out, get bigger, and what I want it to do is I want it to uh, go this way. Let's have it, this is just, all I'm trying to do is add some movement in here that people say, hey, something just happened down there. All right, I'll have it go this way here, and let's make it get to be uh, 0.9 and 0.9. All right, so I made it a little bit smaller. And lastly, I want it to settle into position. So it's going to go woo like that. All right, woo. That's all that's going to happen. All right, that's probably perfectly fine. I'm not going to bother changing it any more than that. You guys can go in and, and play with your, if you really want to go in and play with your curves, so you've got you know, nice smooth in, smooth out, and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to bother for now. You guys can go ahead and th do it. All, well, all you do is you grab it like this, right click and say flatten, or and right click on this side and say flatten, and that's probably good enough. Flat, good enough. <laughs> I know I'm an animator, but sometimes I'm really lazy too. All right, so with that in place, my animation in place, all I need to do now is activate the animation somehow. I'm gonna go back to my animator. I'm gonna create a transition across one way and a transition across the other way. So something is gonna make this thing go back and forth. And I'm just gonna shrink it down and shrink it down. Now, I want a trigger. I'm gonna use a trigger. Uh, to make this thing begin operating at the beginning. Hey, I turned you off. Uh, so I'm gonna turn off has exit on the upward uh, movement, on the transition from the idle to the select, all right? And I'm gonna add in here, I'm gonna go to my parameters list, I'm gonna say plus, and I'm gonna add a trigger, and I'm gonna call this, um, it doesn't matter what I call it, I'll call it uh, weapon switch. It doesn't really matter what I call it, weapons, as long as you remember what it's called, it doesn't matter. So weapon switch, and I'm gonna have weapon switch be the trigger to make us go up and out of here. So into my list over here, plus uh, weapon switch, perfect. And to exit here, I'm gonna have it go uh, after a certain amount of time, it's gonna travel back into this location. That's it, then it's gonna stay in the idle. The graphical portion of this is set up. Now we require a little tiny bit of code and we're done. All right, let me save that. Now we have, we have various locations where we could actually set up this, this animation to take place. I think that our best bet is, let's go into our scene again and let's find our character, our soldier, and let's go into our inventory manager, double click. All right, perfect. Oh, and let's a view, zoom in, view, zoom in, just like five times, view, zoom in, view, zoom in, and view, zoom in. And one more for good measure, view, zoom in. There's not actually a lot of code that we gotta add in here. Um, so basically, all I wanna do is in my inventory manager, this is already where I switch weapons, right? I come in here, uh, whenever we push the button is where we actually switch our weapons, all right? Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna come in here and at the top, uh, at the top up here, we're gonna add a, a uh, not in the start, sorry, not in the start, way up here. Uh, at the very, very top, we're gonna add a, a link to our animator, all right? so animator and uh, let's call this um, weapon image AC all right uh, or just weapon image anim maybe is a better name weapon image anim so once we get a we have to have a link to this first of all and we're gonna do that in our start so right here we've already gone through set our weapons etc um, let's add it right underneath our for loop right here and all we're looking for is to find what that weapon image anim is so weapon image weapon image anim is going to be equal to our uh, we already have a link to our weapon image it's right there right at the top called weapon image so it's gonna be equal to weapon image weapon image 
dot, and we're going to get our component. Get component. Get component. What are we looking for? We're looking for an animator. All right, perfect. Now we've got it, and as soon as we actually have access to it, let me file save this. We, as soon as we have access to it, that gives us the opportunity to go in and uh, and make calls to it. All right, and all we really want to do is is go through and uh, go through and actually set our, our weapon to be active. All right, and let's go down here. We've we've done a number of things here. We go through and in our update. Um, we figure out whether or not we've actually pushed the button and whether or not we should do anything. If we are supposed to do something, we go to our set weapon active. So I think that is the best location to actually go in and start up our animation. All right. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Um, right in here, uh, deactivate weapon, set it to true. Once we've done that and we, we, we initialize the weapon, let's go into our initialization of our weapon right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say our um, weapons... What did I call it? Weapons image something, didn't I? Man, I have a bad memory. Weapon image anim, is what we called it. Uh, and we want to basically dot set trigger. All right. Our trigger was uh, our, what did I call it? <laughs> oh, I have bad memory. Animator. I call it not gun melee. Let's go down here. That's the character. Uh, boom. Weapon switch, I called it. Basically, all we want to do is set our weapon switch and once we do it automatically it's going to kick off that's all we should really need to do that's all we should need to do all right i'm going to say file and i'm going to save this and i'm going to go back over here and i'm going to go to my scene and i make sure i have no errors in my console i have none i'm going to hit play with maximize on play on so right away we saw it kick in there the animation looked shitty uh or crappy i should say excuse me uh and i'm just going to jump over grab it and I'm going to switch the weapons out and see. So I don't like the way that looks, <laughs> but it operates appropriately. All right. I now have a very large indication in the corner that we've changed weapons in some way. And that's how easy it is to animate your GUI. Uh, I've had a few questions about how do you animate your GUI? Well, that's it. That's it, guys. It's done exactly the same way. All right, and this works perfectly fine. We've got a big movement down there. We can now see something's changed, and that's really what you want. That's why your GUI's there. Your GUI's there to give the player information they might not necessarily have. In our case, maybe it's not necessary. We've got a weapon switch, and we can see that occurring. Maybe that's enough. But in this case here, what we can see is we can see how easy it is to, to show off something very, very quickly. That's it, guys. That's working. That's our basic inventory done. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And I hope you are building really awesome games. I can't wait to see what you've done. Only a couple of episodes left. Uh, I think we've got to have some winning conditions. Maybe a close button. And I don't know if we need much more than that. And that's it, guys. That's all we're going to need. All right? I haven't mentioned this before, but if you are interested, I do have a Patreon account. Uh, the Patreon account is going to be available on my YouTube page. Check it out. If you, for some reason, want access to all of my scripts and all of my projects, uh, I do have a Patreon option in there uh, for my patrons that allows them to download everything here. All right, guys. Uh, I've also got a, 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 a Patreon reward that allows Patreons, my patrons to actually go through and choose what our next subjects are going to be. And I actually dedicate uh, videos to them. So if they have a burning question, they really want to see how something is done, you can ask me to build that actual video. All right, guys. I won't mention Patreon again. Maybe not again anytime soon anyway. <laughs> I won't mention it again for the next little while. And I hope you guys take the opportunity to take a look at it. And if you want to support me, that would be awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I can't wait to see your games. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.